Ito si John. Tinanong siya kung ano-ano ang mga kulay ng rainbow. Sabi niya para mas madaling matandaan, ginamit niya ang acronym na Roy G. Biv. R stands for red, O for orange, Y for yellow, G for green, B for blue, I for indigo, V for violet. Ito naman si Ana. Tinanong siya kung ano yung mga buwan na nagtatapos sa Burr. Sabi niya, September, October, November, December. Teacher Ray asked Pedro to recite the all odd numbers between 1 to 20. He said, they are 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, and 19. These three groups are examples of what we call sets. So, what is a set? A set is a well-defined group of objects called elements that share a common characteristic. The first group is the set of colors in the rainbow, consisting the elements of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. These colors or elements show a common characteristic. Ito lang naman kasi lahat ng kulay ng rainbow. So this group is well-defined. Again, our first group is the set of colors in the rainbow. The second group is a set of months ending there. Obviously, this is well-defined, consisting the elements of September, October, November, and December. And the third group is a set of all odd numbers between 1 to 20. Obviously, this is well-defined, consisting the elements of 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, and 19. So let us answer this. Can we make a set of beautiful pictures? The answer is no. Why? Kasi hindi lahat tayo pare-parehas ang tingin. Pwede yung maganda sa akin, hindi pala maganda sa iyo. Yung maganda sa iyo, hindi pala maganda sa akin. Hence, this is not well defined. So we cannot make a set here. What about the next example? Set of first five books of Christian Bible. We have two testaments. Old Testament and New Testament. What testaments? Again, hindi na naman siya specific, kaya this is not well defined. Paano kung baguhin natin siya? Set of first five books of New Testament of Christian Bible. So tama na siya because the word New Testament. So this is well defined. Consisting the elements of Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts. So we can learn from all of the examples na ang set kailangan ay well defined. So paano ba sinasulat ang set? Always remember, capital letters are usually used to name sets. For our first set, we name this as set J. Second set, set R. And the third set, set S. Kanina, yung first set natin is a set of colors in the rainbow. Binigyan natin siya ng pangalan na set J. And close the elements with braces. Next is set of months ending bare. Or it is set R. Again, 
we enclose the elements with braces. And we can do this again for the last set. We named it as set S. What if you encounter this? The set of triangles with four sides. Is it true that a triangle has a four sides? We know that triangle is a polygon with three sides. Meron tayong equilateral, iskaline, isosceles, equiangular, obtuse. So lahat na nabanggit ng kinds ng triangle natin ay walang four sides. Kapag ka ganyan na example, this is what we call a empty or null set. Now, ano ba ibig sabihin ng empty set or null set? A set does not contain any element or no members. So, meron tayong dalawang symbols na gagamitin. Kapag sinabi natin empty set, most likely enclosed braces. Kapag sinabi naman natin null set, slash O. Kaya dun sa example natin kanina na set of triangles with four sides, the answer is empty set or null set. Next example, set of all odd numbers divisible by 2. The odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on. So, when we divide the odd numbers by 2, dapat wala siyang remainder. Since meron siyang remainder, maliwanag ang sagot natin ay empty set or null set. Ano naman yung tinatawag natin na cardinality? Cardinality refers to the number of elements in a given set. It is denoted by the symbol lowercase n. We read n open and close parenthesis a is cardinality of set a. Example, c is set of primary colors. What are the primary colors? They are red, blue, yellow. Therefore, set C or the elements of set C are red, blue, yellow. Again, when we are pertaining to the cardinality, number of elements. Ilan daw sila lahat? They are three. Therefore, the answer is cardinality of set C is three. Another example, A is set of months to start with Y. In a calendar, we have 12 months, starting from January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Meron ba nagsisimula sa Y? Wala. In this case, some of you, you will answer this. The cardinality of set A is empty set or null set. But this is wrong. Why? Because when we are pertaining to a cardinality, ang inahanap natin is Number of elements. Pag sinabi natin number of elements, yung bilang ng elements. Therefore, the answer in here is the cardinality of set A is zero. Thanks for watching. See you on the next series of this video. If you like this video, Click the like button and don't forget to subscribe.